Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone's having a great day. Just wanted to shoot a video real quick and talk about your strategy for what you're doing to attract customers. So last week I got a call from a company, uh, I'm not gonna mention their name, but pretty much what they were trying to sell me is a website where people can go and they were gonna put me at the number one organic results on Google. So what that pretty much means is if you Googled, for example, my name, Max Cruz Realtor in uh, Miami Beach, uh, Florida, um, you would get my name at the top uh, of the list. Uh, Google has something called sponsored ads, which are the top three or four, and they'll say ads or they'll say sponsored, but pretty much the organic ones come right underneath that. So they were promising to put me there. And then uh, because I went to the 10X Growth Conference and because I've been studying marketing for the last four or five months, I, I asked them and I was like, okay, well, these people see me on their website, what happens then? Oh, well, then uh, they land on your page that we create and in there it just gives you like an about you section. It has your phone number, your email listed. And then if they wanna go to your website, they click on another page and then on your web page, they can search for a home or do this. And I said, well, you know, if I'm in the real estate space and I'm competing against Zillow or Realtor, what's stopping the customer from going to there instead of finding me, clicking on that site, then going to another site, then starting their search, you know, they're all confused. It's like, well, we're getting you traffic. And I said, okay, well, you know, can you guys, can I capture the lead on your page? Once they click on this page, is there some way that I can capture their name or email address or ask them specifically what they want? Well, no, we don't have that feature. So we kind of went back and forth probably for five minutes and he's telling me all these great things about the site. But what I got from this and what hopefully you can apply to this is understanding the importance of marketing and maybe you know what good is it if you open up a store or if you open up an online store or something else that somebody lands on your page but they don't buy something they don't interact with you they don't get the information that they want or they're too confused to walk into your store whether it's a physical location or your online web page so just know what you want know how if you're gonna buy into a marketing strategy have a plan on how that's gonna work out for your business um, it doesn't matter the price point that the price point they were offering me was pretty much a hundred dollars a month and I asked them okay well you know you build out this web page I'm on top for the number one organic search in real estate in Miami or it was very specific you know you show me that I got 1200 visitors on my website if none of those visitors call me or I don't get their information or I don't <clears throat> you know have a way to interact with them then 1200 visitors equate to a hundred dollars in the red because it cost me a hundred dollars to get nothing so on top of that maybe you know instead of being overexposed this is where it's like okay well this great realtor has a website but i can't get any information on them so maybe i'm not such a good realtor because people are confused what's the point of that website so to end up with this again just know what you want if you're gonna implement a marketing strategy you know sit down with yourself for five minutes ten minutes and say okay how does this work for my business how can I utilize it I think if you're big like some of the people that we know or if you're coca-cola or Budweiser or etc you can go out there and you can build all these websites and you can afford to mass advertise but I think when you're growing you know, $100 a month is an ad budget that maybe if you spend that on Facebook and got three leads, let's say it costs you $33, but that person bought, you know, a $100 product and you had a 35% margin on it, you know, you sold $100, you spent $33 on a lead, but you had a 35% markup, so you made $35 minus the $2 that you, minus the $33 that you spent on a lead, well, you made $2. If you repeat that a million times, well, you just made $2 million. So it's all simple math. And again, it's just knowing if you're gonna sign up for something, if you gotta use a resource, just make sure you think about how that resource works in line for you and your company. Hope everyone has a great 10X week and keep on enjoying your day. Thank you.